What's going on, gang? It's your boy, GBGTS, and we are back with another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star R Battle Roster Prediction. Now, last time we talked about this, I mentioned that the first person that was coming was from part two, and that guy's name is Von Stronheim. If you didn't catch that video last time, I highly suggest you go into the comment section down there and go ahead and check out that video, letting you guys know what I think are my predictions coming down the road um, in regards to the new generation of All-Star Battle, of course, for JoJo. Uh, I believe that my first, the first character that's going to be reintroduced into the game, of course, because we had very few little characters from Battle Tendency is Von Stromheim. But in this video, this is another character that I honestly believe was not in All-Star Battle because more than likely there was a lot of issues with not only the hitbox, probably the way that the way that the character uh, would have been used back then. So now that times have changed and this game is coming out with different mechanics and different stuff, I honestly believe that this is the next character that's going to be introduced into the game and the reason why this character is going to be introduced into the game is because of the fact that we only had one pet stand in the entire all-star battle cast in the original all-star battle cast so what does that mean <clears throat> iggy from part three is the only animal with a stand in jojo's bizarre adventure eyes of heaven which came out two years later they also released another animal with a stand. Who might that be? Who do you think that is? Of course, it is Iggy's arch rival or arch nemesis, the pet shop. So in today's video, we are going to break down pet shop. That is right. Pet shop in Jojo's eyes of heaven, his movesets and what will be coming from that game over to this new generation of all-star battle art um the things that will not come obviously like i did in von stromheim's video and of course what new things to expect from such character now before i continue i want to go ahead and let you guys know to make sure to hit the sub to like to share if you are enjoying these kind of content roster prediction move set prediction all that in regards to jojo's bizarre adventure all-star battle there's also um we're also doing this for of course Gundam Evolution. So if you like Gundam, please come through. We play all sorts of anime games here on the channel. So if you like anime gaming in general and breakdowns and whatnot and reactions and all that, this is where you want to be. So now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and remove myself from the actual uh, video footage. So that way you guys get a full screen gameplay of Eyes of Heaven and of course a little bit of the feedback with my boy pet shop right here as you guys can see and his usage of course so begin with the one thing that we got to understand is that unfortunately this character seems to be another long range character and that's basically what he is set up for i can see him definitely uh fitting in the jojo roster by by essentially working like kaki Oin, where kaki Oin, uh sends diamonds across the screen and it basically has you kind of zoned in that sense now, of course, for every five hits here in this particular JoJo, for every five hits or so, what would end up happening is that um, you could cause like a massive ice block. I think that that ice block is going to work very similar to the Sub-Zero uh, kind of thing. So if you do a certain mechanic like down forward, you could shoot the giant chunk, which in this case, when you press triangle with Pet Shop, he launches that giant icicle which you guys saw there unfortunately i didn't connect but with that icicle hits what ends up happening is that it freezes the opponent on the spot and then it allows you to go ahead and continue uh doing extra moves or more moves uh against said opponent that will work definitely kind of like a long range sub-zero kind of character in that sense like that i i want to say that he's also going to have um uh, his ultimate is definitely going to be something similar to his jojo's eyes of heaven ultimate which you guys see on the screen but honestly i don't know if they're going to go ahead and reanimate it now that they have more 
um footage of course from the anime version of part three so they could use uh techniques and footage from there in order to reanimate his finisher nonetheless his finisher does look decent i could see it working in a way that if you go ahead and cause some freeze damage or send a big icicle after a combination of small icicles which pushes him back probably to do a wall bounce then you can freeze them and there that technique that i just used right now still can't still can't connect that technique um and then into the ultimate which will likely cause massive massive net massive 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 damage this character is going to be debuffed in the health aspect he's not going to be able to take much damage um his health percentage though or his attack percentage is definitely going to be high which uh definitely it, it's what a zoner is meant to be like do i believe that he can be broken and in the case of a fighter such as this jojo i honestly believe that this character if not well balanced can definitely be a broken character in jojo all-star battle r i want i don't want to say that he will be completely broken but he can definitely be broken if he's brought on board but i think that the game definitely taking assets from the original from the original jojo's eyes of heaven is one of the things that's going to make it uh basically believable that this character can actually make his way onto the battlefield and into jojo's all-star battle again some of the moves that i believe uh he's gonna have is of course this icicle attack right there now on the last hit that particular move which you guys saw right there when i launched the giant icicle that will cause freeze damage that's probably the down forward technique and then from there you can also do multiple icicles into now another thing that i definitely want to go ahead and address is the fact that here in jojo's eyes of heaven they do have a technique that basically allows you to either ascend or descend and i think that they might be added to um pet shop in a way that the character can go ahead cause some damage send you up in this uh like and be able to float kind of like zamasu fuse zamasu from dragon ball fighters where the character has like a floating mechanic i think they may be able to add that particular mechanic back into the game or into this game with pet shop of course because he is a bird ultimately it's not going to be you flying or uh you chasing this character around the entire screen there's going to be ways that you're going to be able to stop him from doing uh from being basically um a one trick pony in that sense now the technique that i'm using right now is like called extension and that technique itself if it hits the opponent it is like a counter attack so if the opponent gets close what would end up happening is that the opponent freezes on the spot and that can also be added into his arsenal in a way that if a per if it if a character is attacking set to counter and from that counter be able to go ahead and create a massive combo like you guys are seeing here by freezing and then of course um doing an ultimate which can possibly finish off uh the opponent or take at least a good 40 to 50 percent damage obviously this game and all-star battle are don't translate directly so the way that these characters are moving right here is not the same way that they move um in other uh in the other game but a lot of things can be definitely translated like um that last technique that i used where they where i went ahead and did the dual mode technique and he shot a barrage of a barrage of icicles that can also be a super attack of course the evasive and all that is going to have his iconic pose so the way I see it is that a character like this one right now, or pretty much a character like a character like Pet Shop has to be able to make his way to JoJo's Battle R. And that's just to represent the other animal stands that are in the game. And being brutally honest, I can see this character being ease of use, um, being one of the quirky characters that uh puts you on your toes has you 
sidestepping a lot in order to be able to get into the zone to be able to hit him and get some good damage off but if they go ahead and figure out how to nerf him in a good way then i honestly think that this is one of the best additions that you can add into all-star battle r and that's my take in my opinion as to who the next character will end up being out of the characters that are going to be mentioned outside of trish and prosciutto so again to review a few things that we got going on the first thing that we have is his auto combo or his square combo then we have the then we have the heavy feather technique here which is a counter attack so if someone attacks him and frees him on the spot whatnot um the other thing that we have of course is the giant um the giant ice beam or the giant icicle that icicle in particular when it hits the character is going to go ahead and freeze them on the spot allowing you to continue your combos i think that's going to be also controlled and you're going to be able to use your float technique for example um like i'm doing right now plus the ice technique in order to be able to angle those particular projectiles and be able to keep your enemies at bay that's what I got in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you go ahead and hit the sub to like to share. Continue coming through here on the channel for more JoJo All-Star Battle R. And of course, we will see you here when they go ahead and release the cast. Another thing that we're also getting is Stone Ocean Part 2. Uh, it's come, uh, they just announced it on Netflix. So if you guys have been watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, stay tuned because I am doing Stone Ocean here on the channel i had to stop for a little while uh to focus on other things health and whatnot but i will be doing the rest of jojo stone ocean including part two of it here on the channel so holla at me y'all already know show some love come on through y'all already know i'll catch you guys in the next roster review have a good one